all those things, I will throw some lights and it will help you, you can utilize uh, for your building your better career, a future career. So how you can take the advantage of the new education is otherwise you will be the old education systems, rules and regulations. Your parents are also not knowing new education policy in detail. So, we have this kind of awareness should be created first among the students, then you have to create among the parents also. And throughout the country, we need a kind of some kind of uh, uh, the activities uh, uh, with respect to new education policy, especially school levels. The parents who are bringing their, their child to the school education, they are not much educated. We have to talk with the local languages. And we have to create the awareness of the, about the new education policy. So the government has taken a lot of initiation, initiations with the proprietary school teacher and your higher secondary school teacher and your other model. Whatever the government will study and the UK, the government will study other models. There the awareness should be done, uh, created among all the class of people. Uh, uh, low income group people, uh, medium income group people, high income group people. High income group people will join, make able to join the even middle class nowadays, the unmet education system. But low income group people, they, most of them they will assign it into the government schools. So we need to have a kind of awareness for all class of people. So we include it from the lower to higher level uh, income group. Now I will throw some lights. What are the benefits? So the national education policy, or sometimes they will call, don't say no, it is new, it is not new, it is the old one. Earlier we used to call it as new education policy. It is now it is a national education policy. Let's uh, earlier uh, it was a centered education system that contributed the major link to transforming what was the their traditional uh, the education system, higher education system. Here I am not going to talk about school education. I will talk about only the higher education. So whatever you are studying there, now degree and even uh, the postgraduate, then your uh, uh, PhD at the program, research level program. What are the, the changes we have made that we are creating and school level awareness the school primary school teachers are creating to the children, school and parents. Come to this one, it is ended, this is directly transforming our nation's sustainability in the equitable and vibrant knowledge society by bringing high quality education systems. Can you move and change this back? prepare a strategic plan. Whenever you want to do something, there should be a plan that is called strategic plan. Strategic plan which includes what is the difference between type plan and strategic plan? What is the strategic plan? So you need to have the time whenever you prepare that plan. Plan means you can prepare. But how to implement it is to that the time span which is required, you may require one year, two year, three year, four years, or five years to complete the plan. So your dream, that is called whenever you integrate any plan with the time and what is the money required, what is the kind of the resources required, human resource, money, all the such things, whatever there, that come that will become a strategic plan. Then another important aspect. It is the governance, whatever the policy which is related to implement. That is related to the, the government, uh, what kind of the new policy, education policy should be bring inside uh, and uh, that should be uh, spread across the country for all the states to adopt it. That is the, the strategic plan. Then academic plan uh, uh, to infrastructure, academic plan 
to infrastructure means the colleges like this. So what kind of the infrastructure which is required, additional infrastructure which is required to build the or to implement the new education policy. Of course, there will be a kind of investment should be made from the each colleges, especially uh, the private colleges. Government colleges, they will get fund from the governments to implement the new education policy. But private colleges, they have to spend on their own to implement this building requirement in terms of building or appointing qualified teachers or set up in new kind of laboratories and kind of the, uh, the, uh, the kind of the training which is needed for the students and faculty. Obviously, there will be a burden on the management uh, in terms of the investment is concerned. So that is called uh, academic plan to infrastructures. So whether we are implemented or not, so there is a monitoring agency which will come to IH colleges. Are you implementing uh, implemented the uh, new education policy requirement systems, laboratories, uh, classrooms? All the things they will check and verify uh, before giving the approval. Then quality assurance uh, to check the quality of the education system whether the institute is offering a quality education system, there is accreditation systems are there, that is called it is the national accreditation system, NARF, National Institute Ranking Frameworks, NARF ranking. What is the you know, our we are also within India, within 200, the NSAT is also there. So within the 200 if you fall anything, the rank will be declared uh, in the entire countries. We are one among the, the, the best institutions uh, offering the quality education in India. Within 200, BMAC, even BMAC, BMSIT, which is there. So, can you tell me how many colleges are there around in India, higher education? Yeah, including degree. Higher education, but not only engineering. It may be around even degree colleges, science, arts, okay, socials, whatever the degree colleges are there, those are all, you joined engineering, someone will die, become B.Sc. okay, they are arts, other things, they B.A., so many things are there around, yeah, 40, 40 45 plus colleges are there, around the, uh, the 17,000 engineering colleges are there, who are there among those total that they hold. Total 78,000 engineering colleges are there. In that, we are in the work to a within 200. And you see the quality among those and the number of colleges, we are in the 200 rankings. So, where the BMS ranking is there, that is the one problem. And the QS ranking, that is the QS, which is the US ranking in the system for the quality. Uh, survey, that is the quality assurance survey, that is the ranking, QS ranking, which is done by international body, not by India. This NAI ranking system is done by India. The grading the colleges, giving the ranks, checking all the facilities, and physically, and also the taking through the uh, social media, all the data they will compile and they will declare the ranks. But QS ranking, it is not by the India, it is from the outside India. US uh, ranking system, so all the uh, university, topmost university, uh, MIT, other Harvard, everything which is ranked on the US ranking. So here also we are also going to apply for the US ranking. What is the uh, international body we come and inspect and what where we are, the, the ranking, QS ranking. So that is the, uh, the ranking system. Simply if you say we are giving good education, quality education, that is not enough. And we have to depend on the third party who has to come and inspect and say, yes, you are giving quality education, this is your rank. This is the marks you scored, total marks. And based on the total marks, they will declare the what is the rank. So like your university systems, your uh, marks come based on your marks you scored in the exams, your, whether you are first class, uh, or whether you are just second class or distinction students or rank, everything will be declared based on your marks you show. Same way, institution also will be ranked throughout the countries. Similarly, we have NAC accreditations. 
so national uh, accreditation uh, uh, the assessment and uh, accreditation council nac is there it is also india one one of the ranking systems and also we have nb national board of accreditation so now the department is going for nba this month they will apply for the uh, committee to visit for the national board for accreditation so look up all the most of the branches here in the institution is already accredited one civil is pending now we are applying civil so the committee may visit uh, uh, in the month of february the inspections so you must also know what is uh, the uh, the uh, nba what is the outcome based education systems uh, what is the earlier it was output uh, input and output education systems now it is outcome based education systems. What is the difference? You will come across. Can anyone? What is the outcome based education system? Focus on skills. Focus on skills. Good. So earlier, for example, you are in a class. There is a 60 students are there, which are admitted in class here. After four years, how many are completing the degree without any? Backlog. How many are clearing the day? Input is 60. Maybe 50 are completing, 10 maybe may not be completing because of one or two backlog in the either first year or second year or third year or fourth year. So 50 are completing. Out of 60 entered first year, completed only 50. And one or two may be dropped in between, discontinued. So Input is 60, output is 50, and those out of 50, some students are in the 110 students are in the FCD, some students, 5 to 10 students are another 10 students are in first class, another will be second class, another will be just remain just class. <coughs> this is the old traditional system. First class, first class with distinction, second class, and just class. This was the input and output system. It was there earlier. Now it is the not like that. Your percentage or degree, whatever the marks you are scoring at the end, that is not only is not enough. Even sometimes a average student will have a better knowledge, better skill sets, and the, 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 that student will clear the interview. That will have a more uh, practical knowledge than your mass card, whatever the numbers are, the score which is there in the mass card. The mass card will not help now. In the industry, the percentage, first class, distinction will not have enough. Whatever the skill set you have, whatever the knowledge you have. So, three things that the industry will look into this. One is knowledge. Knowledge will come by your books, theory. Skill will come by practice or practicals, lab practical, doing some kind of project, mini project, the way industrial visits, going there and seeing something, learning, hands on experience. So the skill set will come by practice. Practice where you will do, you can do in the laboratory or through your project work, through your uh, kind of the assignments which is given by, not just assignment means copying and reproducing. So the cognitive assignment, you have to think and solve, to think and create something model, there that your uh, cognitive knowledge or cognitive domain will come into picture, where you can uh, do the kind of the, some kind of the models and where you can uh, perform the task, complete the assignments. I think second year level, I think uh, Archana Madam is giving fluid mechanics, some kind of assignments, you have to make a model and you have to demonstrate. That is which required a skill set. Fabrications, you have to make the, your hands dirty, you have to touch and fabricate, repair. That is called skills. So one is knowledge will come by theory books and skill will come by practice. Another most important industry which is called the attitude. The attitude if it is not good, students, if your behavior how you should behave with your uh, uh, subordinates in the company, 
how you will behave with your colleagues, how you will behave with your boss. An attitude is not good, even though you have good knowledge, you have very good skills, but your attitude is not good, company will not retreat, and will not retake for long. They will fire you, they will kick you out from the job. Even though you are highly knowledgeable, highly skill set you have, whatever the talent you have, but your attitude is not good, company will not retake. So, equally, the skill sets, knowledge, skill, and <coughs> attitude, these three companies will look into the, in the interview at the final year or third year, rather than your mass card, first class or distinction, that they will not look into the much. They will give the task, they will check your uh, uh, aptitude, reasoning, and technical skills, and how you will behave as an individual. When you are an individual, how you will behave yourself. When you are in a team, a team means like this, there is a team, this is the team. When you are a team or when you are in a group, how you will behave as a team member. Is it? So here, when you are playing in a team, as a cricket match, in a cricket, so all team members are equally important rather than a captain. All you have to perform well to win the game. If someone's attitude is not good, someone's behavior is not good, so you may lose the match also. So team, that how you will play in the team is most important in the company because you are not working alone in the industry. You are working with your friends, you are working with your the subordinates, colleagues, how you will behave with them, how you will answer, how you will uh, react with your boss, how, how you will react with your uh, lower level people, mostly laborers, contractors. So you should take them into confidence. Yes, you have to pat them. Yes, you will do a good job. Yes, you will do that. You have to appreciate and then you have to extract the work. Not show your bossism there. Should not be a boss. Boss and leader, there is a difference. What is a boss? Meaning of the boss? What is the boss meaning? First boss, what is meaning by boss and leader? Boss means he will let you get the work done from all of you and he will take the credit. Boss will not do that. Boss will always he will take the work, extract the work and he will not give the credits to all the, the people who have worked day and night. That is the boss, boss is there. The leader will not be there. Leader will stand back side of all of you and he will pat on you, he will encourage and he will make you to get success or achieve something and credits will be, yes, this is all because of my team members, I got this cup. Even anywhere, one should be a leader. If something is wrong, goes wrong, the leader should, yes, this is not the way to go like this. He should be a stand at the back side and push everyone into front. This is the leader will do. Boss will be there in the front always and remainings will be there at the back side. And he will take the, all the credits. So don't become a boss there. Become always leader. Leadership quality. You have to take everyone into confidence. Either when someone will be intelligent, someone will be average, someone will be extraordinary, will be there in the team. All team players will not be play equal in the match you are seeing. All will not play, but everyone is having some talent. You have to identify and extra. That is the leader, especially who wants to become a captain. That captain should be a leader, not a boss. He has to take the opinion of everyone and that kind of the things which is required. I will tell the one with the highlights of each slide. So here, what are the problems faced by now? What is the, the old education system? What are the problems we are we were facing? Now, how we have overcome those problems? So here there are some so many educations, policy, state-wise, 
you have CBSE, you have state syllabus, you have certain so many ICIC syllabus, so many syllabus are there and each state if you go in your neighboring states the Telangana or you go to the Andhra Pradesh, you go to Kerala, you go to Tamil Nadu, you take up Karnataka their own education policy and systems their own rules and regulation system now it is everything is remote it was so fragmented it is a new kind, the different system, different entry system, it's a different entrance exam for engineering, different entrance exam for medicines, medicine or something there. Now it is uh, the everything you see the medical or the the, uh, the neat exam which is there, which is made one. Throughout the country, neat exam is there now. Earlier it was not there for the entry of medical. Engineering. First, Karnataka has implemented the uh, common entrance test. Same the CET, the K Karnataka CET, the other stated states also started adopting this CET entrance test for engineering. So, like this, there is a kind of the new kind of system. Now, everything is remote. Now, need is made on system to enter into the medical field or medical education systems which is a, like this, new education policy bringing common policies to the all the states one nation, one education policy now they are bringing lot of changes one nation with one law, one those how many things are bringing there, the government so one nation, one procedure, one system should be there that is what the new education system and the, the earlier there was a less emphasis on development of cognitive skills. Cognitive skills means there is no thinking skills, only mugaping something. Reading, mugaping and vomiting in the exam, next. One or two days, one or two days if I ask some question, nothing. You if I ask you some plus two questions. Okay. So you, you are not even able to recall and reproduce. Because your, it is not stored in the cognitive domain. Something you remembered for the time of the time of the examination part of it, and you studied and remembered, and then you are reproduced in the exam and you forgot completely. If I will ask you something, derivations in physics, something, okay. So you are not in a position to derive this because it is not went inside the cognitive minds. It is only at the remember. So there are the uh, cognitive skills are there, remembering, okay, then applying, analyzing, then designing, creating, lot of the knowledge skills are there. Your question paper we are, you can see that we are asking K1, K2, K3, K4. Are you saying the question paper? Second year, first year I think not started. So cognitive domains, we are asking what is the knowledge, what is the cognitive knowledge skill set we are asking, K3, K2, K4, K5, K6, those are all the, the cognitive level where we, we need to answer. But this year, new education policy, it has given more freedom for the students to think and apply rather than, okay, mugging up the things. And here, uh, rigid separations of disciplines with early specializations and sweeping of students into narrow areas of study. Earlier, there was a, as I told you, a rigid system. Once you join civil engineering, there is no much options to change the field, domain. It is not like that now. That was the old the traditional system. Early itself, age itself, separating the stream into that. Here you have joined here engineering. Okay, you can enter the job, do job in any field. Degree is required. You can continue to civil also. But basic skill set, if you want to become a, a, a electronics engineer, only thing is you have to learn additional courses. That's the elective are there. We have given electives, open electives are there, professional electives are there in the higher semester. You can select the EC related if you want to become EC engineer. Select the elective subject EC or if you want to become a computer science graduate or you want to enter software. 
those subjects to study in the higher semester as the elective, open elective, professional elective. Uh, you can take up anything related to particular open elective. You can become any kind of that kind of flexibility which is made for all the students in the new education policy. And uh, limited teachers and institutional autonomy. Those days it was only limited teachers and autonomy was not there much, freedom was not there. Now new policy has brought the uh, and uh, limited assess particularly socio-economically disadvantages area and we go to higher education that teach local languages. Now all the education systems in new education all will be teaching in the even in the mother tongue. You can you can study in uh, the Canada. You can engineer in Udo, civil engineering. The university is offering in Canada. If you are uh, the, the now they started Canada Canada. They are Tamil. Even uh, the Tamil Nadu is offering in Tamil engineering in Tamil. Canada UVT is offering engineering in uh, the Canada. So you can learn in your own mother tongue, you can understand with the your, uh, uh, subject in, in detail or in, in depth with your mother tongue, so that you can also become a good engineer. Earlier it was not there flexibility local or only English, but you can have the options to select the, the language, so that you can study engineering, civil engineering in Canada medium. You can also study that, that option also available. And inadequate mechanism for merit based career management earlier is one of the disadvantages. And uh, the merit based career management and progressions of the uh, faculty and institution leaders. And then the less emphasis, uh, emphasis was there on the research. Now it is the more emphasis is given on research. And largely, affiliating university resulting into low standards of undergraduate education. So, almost here, low, large affiliating universities. Most of the colleges now it is affiliated to VTU. 210 colleges are there, they are all affiliated to VTU. Now, no university concept is removed. The new education policy, every college can become first initially a, the autonomous college. Next stage it will, be, it will become a teaching university. Now it's a university. You can be a message, you can become, you will become a university. Now it is in the economics. Then you can also be, be, become like a research university. Next will be there is no concept of engineering college. If you go to the foreign countries abroad, there is no college that universities will be. You have to join each college will be under some colleges which have the limited resources, they will affiliate it to, for example, some colleges, there is a UBC in there, it is a university. You can also affiliate, but in the end, over the period, in the due course of time, there is no college concept will be there, the university status will come, so teaching university, research university, and autonomous colleges. First, it is you have to become autonomous. Now, we have autonomous, we have more flexibility to design our own syllabus, our own curriculum, our own laboratory. We can introduce in the syllabus. But the neighboring colleges which are there, which are affiliated, the non autonomous, they don't have freedom to change the syllabus. So, first, you have to become autonomous. Detaching from the university, one stage step you are detached in syllabus framing, conducting exam, we are conducting exam, we are evaluating. But in other colleges, the university is uh, conducting exam for the other colleges. Question paper will come to university, syllabus will be framed by the university. Exam, marks, everything, the evaluation, evaluation will be done by the other college faculty. But here, we will design our own syllabus and examination, evaluations, mass card, everything will be there. But mass card will be printed by the, given by the university. Your mass card, final mass card, your degree certificate will come from university. 
whatever the university does so far, that same job we are going to do here. And finally, your degree will be awarded by the VTU. That is the autonomous colleges. Meaning of autonomous means everything is will be done by us. The degree will be given by the university. And we have only flexibility to change the, the curriculum, but rules and regulations should be followed as uh, framed by the university. Next stage is we will come out from the university itself. Very soon, next will become DMS University. So, all will be affiliated, not our batch, next future batches will be affiliated to the BMS University. So, university again two types one is teaching university. Another one is a research university. So next, no more question of college, it is only university concept. Every college will become a university. They have their own rules, one syllabus, one uh, regulation. Regulation means it is controlled by the, the NEP will control the, all the rules and regulations throughout the country. All colleges will become university campus. You can join any colleges for any courses and multidisciplinary. There is no point kind of only engineering college. Here arts will bring, science will bring, commerce will bring here, university once it becomes university, all degrees, not only engineering is also one of the degree, like even medicines. Medicines will come here in the day of new courses and you become here in the university. Medicine students will be there, science school students will be there, art students will be there, engineering students will be there, another pair. They will be studying in different places, but at the university, Samrala University, this is the new education policy. What are the new changes which you made in the new education policy? So here are moving towards higher education systems, which is of uh, globally equal standards and consisting of large multidisciplinary university. Multidisciplinary university, as I told you, there will be science will be there, arts will be there, engineering will be there, medicines will be there, in one campus, under one roof, all multidisciplinary, the courses are there. Student can also, can study engineering, student can also study something like uh, uh, medicine related, especially the electronics. Most of the, the biomedical instruments which are designed electronic equipment or X-ray, scanning instrument. So all kind of the, the, the ultrasonic equipment which are used in the medical, which is developed by the electronics. Those things they can also study subject which is related to medicines. All these, the biology, everything which is required biology for civil engineers is there, video syllabus, biology for engineers. There is a subject. Now PCM are there, now PCMB also has come. Biology has also come there. We are going to teach in the next your biology for also for you. Because your biotechnology is coming there, your uh, water treatment, wastewater treatment, solid waste management, we need a biology concepts and uh, the biocomposting, bioenergy. So those things you need a knowledge of biology, you may uh, the higher semester will be biology also, what is the important uh, concept of biology, that is which is required. And here much emphasis is given on research, National Research Foundation also made uh, for the students uh, to uh, understand the, the, give the importance to the, a lot of fund, the government is also allocating a sufficient fund for the students and faculty to do the uh, research, uh, innovations, uh, patents, new startups. For startup students, have some different ideas, different uh, something, their own better idea than teacher. So you can start up your own company. What is the support from the government? What is the support from the institution, the college? Support from the the bank sectors. Now it is if you have an idea and you start up your own company. You need not to have uh, money in your pocket. Without one rupee, you can start your own company. All supports will be given by the government. Just you have to show your what is your idea. Submit the project proposal to the government or to the bank. Bank will provide all facilities to establish your company. And you can uh, repay after the 
four years or five years, till then the interest will be not there. Investment you may require 10 crores or you may require to there and uh, uh, 50 crores or 100 crores to invest in the company, to start up company. Initially start with 1 crore or 2 crore, the government will without any surety. No surety for students. Now, government is mad. You need not to give the surety of someone or threats in your land, agriculture land, house, blood, and food are gone. Student, only your surety is your degree certificate. You have degrees, you have knowledge, you want to start up a business, you need how much money you require to prepare the schedule. Of course, the, the person department, the government will initiate the fund. They will give you a they will start up initially. And they will also guide them, they will become a mentor. A mentor team will be there, they will come and guide you each and day, day, day to day, they will guide you. And till you grow up, initially your startup company is in the small trades. Once it is grow company into a till you start walking, then the company people, mentors will leave and you will hand it over the company to you completely. You can work done your work. Initially there will be a a business income will not be there in this slowly, then new startup as company has given opportunities. That kind of new startup, new innovations, new tender is the one in India. More number of startups are coming from Karnataka in India, particularly Bangalore is number one in India. More startups, more inventions, more new uh, companies are coming up in only in Bangalore. And this is how I think become, will become a uh, very soon declared India's yes, metropolitan cities. So, like you are in Chennai, you are Mumbai, Delhi, or Kolkata, those are the metropolitan cities. Now, very soon this will also declare Hyderabad and these things will also become a metropolitan city. So, it is not government so far, not a metropolitan city. Highest income tax paying city which is there in the India, it is the Bangalore. So now, for all facilities, technology wise, software, Silicon City of India, and all the entrepreneurs, more entrepreneurs, owner company owners are coming up from Bangalore. The government is giving a lot of encouragement. You can also utilize the new education policy. You start your own business, think now itself, and then the advantage of this one. And this 2035. Students who are enrolling the higher education, at least 50%, the main, the aim of this one, the people who are going for higher education, master degree. So far it is only 20%. After degree, what is the UG? How many are going PG? Only in India, it is, oh yeah, very few are there, only 20% overall, if you see that. But it should be increased to 50%. More number of people, one degree is not enough. So you need a, a dual degree is a must to acquire the knowledge. So 2035, around 50% of the graduates which are coming there should pursue higher studies. And government will give free kind of scholarship, more scholarships. You need not to depend much on the gain of parents, pay fees, other things. You depend on the university. Now all the colleges will become university, they will offer scholarships, you can take the scholarship, complete the, the higher education. If you are working in the also company, work, evening, for the, the part-time job, you can also study, complete this, uh, the studies. Most of your seniors who are they working, studying in abroad, they will do the part-time job, they are earning and they, whatever the fees which is come there day to day, their expenses they are earning in the evening are in the, side the weekends and they are paying for the fees. So they are getting the degree and also earning. So earning while learning. Earning while learning. This concept we need to do to while doing the higher education. We need not to depend on the parents. That is the flexibility which is coming there. And the UG program in multiple entry and exit. So earlier three years. What is three years degree? What is three year degree? BSc, BCom, Diploma. Now it is removed. That three years degree, it is removed. Even BSc, BCom, all these things they had. 
in four years. It is no question of three years. Four years, it is more of specialization. You need to study more specialized and all your credits will be deposited in Academic Bank of Credits, ABC. Academic Bank of Credit means you need not to worry, I lost my mask card, I lost my these things. So everything, your mask card, everything can be there. You will have a password, you can download whenever you require from there. You need not to apply for university again, once again. Sir, I lost my mask card, I lost my this thing. So now your password will be we are going to give. All your mask card, everything will be deposited in the national uh, 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 the depository, that is academic credit with a bank like that creating. With your password, you can download your mask card at any time at any place. So that is the credit system which is coming up. And uh, this year, these badges who are there from first year, second year, those things we are going to deposit in there. We are sending to the university. The university will create a, a, a drive. Uh, a, everything will be kept in the cloud. You can take out, you can download with your password. Mail ID and password. And uh, multiple their uh, and uh, the uh, multiple uh, multidisciplinary education approach is also there. And you look at this another important thing is PG program. It is one or two years integrated five years course. MPhil is report. There is no MPhil now. Earlier MPhil was there, so it is it is completely remote. And the higher education institutions look at this. Research universities, teaching universities, and autonomous granting colleges, new systems. Next, new higher education system. There is a higher research universities, teaching universities, autonomous degree granting colleges. Only three categories will be there in the country. So, and graded autonomy. So, academic, administrative, and financial. So, autonomy will be given even for the academic freedom will be there, administrative freedom will be there. So administrative means following rules and regulations, your own and maintaining this university are the, the government rules and regulations and financial autonomy. <laughs> There is a National Research Foundation, NRF is created. So, for the research is concerned, whoever wish to do some kind of research students, we can apply and get the fund. And uh, setting up of new quality education has made easier. And vocational courses is also introduced to improve. The teachers also need to improve their uh, knowledge. They last out. I will ask the question at the end of the day. And here, earlier, so MHRD, it is the uh, Ministry of uh, Human Resource Development. So that is MHRD, it was there, now it is removed. It's uh, called as Ministry of Education. So now it is Ministry of Education. Earlier it is MHRD was there, now it is removed. Now my name is the uh, Ministry of MOE, Ministry of Education. And types of higher education. In the future, these three categories will see in the country. Research universities, teaching universities, and other autonomous colleges. Autonomous granting colleges like us. Autonomous. Full freedom on our own. The planning, what is required from the industry, syllabus, and conducting all kind of examinations, evaluations, and uh, creating more employability skills. Job opportunity, more job opportunity. So, PG University will be there, research university will be there, autonomous college. There is no affiliating system. You 
tomorrow you should not say sir I am affiliated to BTO sir I am affiliated to Bangalore University my college is affiliated to uh, some other university there is no affiliation system so that is it now they are bringing out the you know in a national education policy breaking the this kind of affiliating to someone it is like whatever they say you have to follow whenever university says those rules and regulations means nobody can move the mouth. But now the freedom is given, cutting that affiliating system to a degree granting institutions, your own flexibility to design what is required by the industry, what is required by the students. You can design, you decide, not the university to decide something. So that kind of freedom is given. So multiple child will ask you. Research University, Teaching University, and Autonomous Colleges. And focus on literature, scientific uh, vocabulary uh, of Indian languages. So, languages, whatever their Indian languages are there, you study, convert your education system in your study in your local languages. So, mother tongue, your education is now is the country is offering in the that they own other times uh, for better understanding. So that is the one, that is the language faculty you are studying Kannada. So isn't it? The Kannada it is now teachers are coming, English teachers are coming. So the Kannada to you can also take up the degree in Kannada in engineer, engineering in Kannada. That is the uh, that you can study and research on languages. Research on languages, most of you are uh, Indian knowledge system, like yes, you see the Indian knowledge system, most of these scripts are in Sanskrit. So you must study this kind Sanskrit also, here we have the facilities, the Sanskrit teachers will come there, the script writing, script reading, script writing, and all the, the other languages. We teach here uh, many foreign languages also, Japanese and French other things, so additional courses also here we are offering the students who are interested, they can also learn and no additional fees. If it's of interest, so if student shows, you can teach teacher the Japanese languages. So because most of the people who are working there, particularly mechanical, they are going into the Japanese companies, the automobile companies. They need a Japanese languages first. Then only they will come and recruit the and company or Japanese company, campus, they will ask whether you know your student knows Japanese or not. So that is why Japanese language you are teaching there and we are also making them to place in the Japanese companies. In India, in Japan, in India, Japanese company, they are asking to student the Japanese language. French also. So we teach French, so uh, German, so those things language teachers are available. So like your Canada and English teachers, the facilities are there. Only thing is you can show the interest in that. And strengthening National Institute for Promoting Classical Languages and Literature Study, Indian Literature. We are teaching also the some to student Indian literature. You must also know the complete uh, Indian literature history. You should not forget the history. So, you are engineering graduate. If you want to pursue or if you want to develop, you must know the history of the Indian history, Indian education system, or the world education system, traditional education system, Indian knowledge systems, Yarebata, other things who have created the wonders, uh, the, the, the other kind, the Nalanda University, Fordest University in the world. They are Nalanda University. Those things you must also go learn. We are teaching now those things in the regular classes. Uh, now in the higher semester, we will introduce these subjects, Indian knowledge system, IKS, and uh, yoga, and uh, these are all they become it's a part of the subject. Credits will be there. In the higher semester, we will introduce all these courses. Like in second year, we studied music, yoga, and the MCC. Coach. These are all the importance we are giving. And the, these kind of things will help you to understand the uh, Indian uh, knowledge system. 
and use of technology for education planning, teaching, learning, assessment. Now we are all uh, using this you now PPT, uh, IoT, and all kind of the your uh, uh, Google classrooms. These are all the technology we are using Google classrooms, online classes, online learning, teaching learning process. And uh, the uh, there are the many softwares are there, friendly the education software, he can test uh, in recognized languages, virtual labs. There are many virtual labs are there. Can you tell me anyone virtual labs, which are the virtual labs we are? You do any kind of animations, for example. You kind of create something virtual labs. E labs. This is a YouTube, you go there. Many good materials you will get, many free softwares are there. So to create anything, uh, uh, kind of virtual lab, engineering virtual labs are there. Uh, you are related to the movie making or anything which is created. So the virtual labs are also available. And National Education Technology Forum is also created. And digital equipment, schools, teachers and digital equipment. All the classrooms, our institutions, it is all the classrooms with the internet connected, the projectors are there, the trees are there, and Wi-Fi campus. So all facilities are there, they are digitally, we are making to connect to the world. So that is the kind of the, the facilities which we need to so bring back the floor uh, out of this. Uh, so school education, there are many school children are dropping out, especially the primary and secondary. Many schools, school children are not coming to the school. Many dropouts are increasing. So government is now taking care to bring them back into the school. The awareness campaign to go to the all the levels, low income people. So that is the, the advantage. The new education policy we improve the enrollment ratio in the schools, in the colleges, even in the higher education. So this is the one overall look at this. NEP 2020 it is National Research Foundation, one is NRF, National Research Foundation is created. It is a made multidisciplinary. Technology integration is met. Higher Engineering Council of India is created separately. And experiential learning through more hands-on experience or practical experience, more skill, more of laboratory, more of projects, more of startups. Here you have this floor, you have the innovation cells, coming up ground floor, you have skill labs, more hands on experience, you have to work there, projects in there, companies will come out, they were bringing the companies to the door, your project live, next project will be to work with the company only. Prior company project, you have to work as a project work, your mini project, final year project, it is not like a, a theoretical oriented. You have to take up a live project, the company will be set up here in the campus. They will give their own assignment, internship, and then they will absorb their own company. And finally, they will uh, keep here or may send to the other campus which are located in, the, in the India. Who are used to join abroad, go there, the same company. Now we are bringing more company into the campus, establishing their company and giving kind of live projects for the students and their job opportunity, internships, other things. So holistic education. Holistic means it is all. Not only engineering, you have to holistic 360 degree education system, yoga, sports, karate, uh, co-curricular activity, extracurricular activities. Not only always you should sit at home, sit at the, uh, in the college, so you have to bring now to self-study, making you to a responsible citizen of in India and making you uh, more uh, thinking ability that the cognitive skills we need to improve. And you know what you are studying, what part you are joining these course, 
what the why you are studying this course. So first of all, you have to question yourself. What is the significance or importance of this subject? That is the one aspect of this. And anything brings, see, more of life skills. What is life skills? Anybody? What is life skills? Concerned towards the nature, concerned towards the, the relationship. Relationship between once you your fiancé or with your <coughs> parents, with your brother, with your sisters. Now the most of the joint family concept is going to become a nuclear family. You have to bring back that the joint family concept. Living together, respecting each other. So that is called the more of life skill practices you need to improve only if you have the affection, the concern, the love and affection, care, concern, these are all comes under life skills. Habits, good habits, your day to day activity, sleeping is, the method of sleeping is, that is also life skill. How you sleep? Critical thinking. Critical thinking means, so whenever the problem comes, how deeply you go, how you will apply the knowledge for your uh, engineering problem or personal problem, how you will come out with the best solution. Experiential learning. This is the other one, MOE. What is MOE? Initial education. It is changes. This is the new education policy. Initial of education. Earlier it was MHRD. MHRD replaced by Technology integration and conceptual understanding. These are all the and the integrated technology program for four years. Now it was earlier three years was there, it is removed. Now it is four years. And new structures. Five plus three plus three plus four. Okay. So this is up to it is there is no college here, completely school education up to plus two. Is it 10 plus 2 is replaced by 5 plus 3 plus So student will enter the nursery at the age of 4 years. Okay. At the age of the 7 years, student will enter first standard. Okay. And the degree will enter in the year of 20 years. At the age of 20 years, they will enter into the degree. IKS. What is IKS? Indian knowledge system. Indian knowledge system. What was there now? Uh, the, who is the brought uh, this kind of education system in India? The English education system. Who brought this education system? The degree, the whatever they are studying? The British. Who is the person? strong and they, it was more uh, powerful system was their Gurukula education system. These British people, they want to decide to break the India, to break the, the country or to make them to fight with it. Then the first thing is you have to break their education system. Then this English education system, whatever school, college and government you are studying, this is their the British education system, that Gurukula system, it is gone. Now, 
India main thing is we have to bring back, go back to the history and go back to our own Indian education system. So that was very strong foundation we laid. So that is why we are teaching, we are revamping the complete education system in India. So our own Indian education system which was the best one. And formative assessments, this is the multiple entry and exit. What is multiple entry and exit? You can quit in second year, later you can also come back and join. Need not be the same institution. You can join wherever you want your academic credit which you want to be stored in the nation, the depository. So you can continue the education system. Entry and exit at any stage, in the age is not a criteria. You can do your engineering at the age of 30 years or 40 years, age they are barely they are removing. Only skill is coming there. So you can uh, study at any stage, you can get any degree at any stage in the after child after uh, so many years. Adult education, lifelong learning. So promotion of Indian languages, arts and culture. That is the main intention. Use of technology and lifelong learning is it is online and digital education system. So don't depend much only on class from sitting here. So most of your classes now very soon will become we want to call them for only for the critical subject, most of the theory subject in a switch over to online education system. So which is required more of lab and problematic subject. Are many things we will conduct our life classes from here. You can say that's the So much classroom intervention will be there, what is the important part? So new education system is coming up. So look at this. Now we are coming at the advantages of new education system. Two crores four children will be able to come back to education institution through new approach. Many students in English, even your uh, senior, uh, the brothers or even your elders, they may be discontinued the education because of the X Y Z reason. They may be working. There may be age 30, 35 years, 40 years. But they want to. They know they are now they are uh, repenting by which the education system. So now this is an opportunity, they can take up online education system from the while working itself, they can complete the degree. You can join entry and exit, can be done at any stage, in not to repent, or in not to curse yourself, I miss the education, I miss the right, and these things. So this is the even opportunity. Even dropout students, you bring out even in these rooms, that is the main focus. And school exams for the graded as 3, 5, 8 and board exams, grades as 10 and 12 to continue but new LEP systems and multidisciplinary approach based on university are Even by 2030, it will have at least Four year B.A. degree education. B.A. also has become four years. B.A. education system, Bachelor of Education, earlier it was two years or three years, but now it is also become four years. <coughs> education should be holistic. No way out there. Come to the last slide. Education should be holistic. It should be approachable to all class of people. And then man making. What is man making? What is man making? What is man making? How do you make? There are already man, right? Man, man. What is man making? What is the difference we have compared to the we are in the 
skill will come by practice. Even uneducated people will do better than educated people because they are more practicing day to day, day to day. They have got the training, skills, everything. They will do better than us. So, skill will come by practice to do any job. To acquire the required skills to do any job. Whenever you want to join any job, whether you have any skills. Knowledge is there from book, theoretical. Practical knowledge will come by skills. So that is where skill set is now connected with your degree or master, your percentage. I hope you understand. Like living and character building. So map making, like giving uh, uh, and giving life to all uh, nature, protecting the universe. Think environment, uh, eco friendly, and all kind of things. And education can unlock all those of progress, and a nation advances in proportion to education, and it will say spread among masses. Now you are seeing the technology, most of the many of you are using by the by the speed internet. Pricing. Using anyone? Yes, Are you experiencing pricing? Yes, Technology? Yes, Most of your mobile, I think, 4G. Isn't it? If you buy now next mobile, 5G, by the time you use mobile, already 6G is coming now. <laughs> Almost uh, uh, 50 times higher faster than your 4 or 5G. That's uh, 6G is coming up already. So 5G by that time it comes and penetrates into the common man, 6G will come. So by mobile, whether it can afford at least 6G next, by mobile, see that whether 6G can accommodate. At least 5G mobile, your 4G mobiles are there. Same way, which is whenever you want to use 5G, you have to change the mobile and set So that is where you will look into that. Thank you. See the languages. As I even though it is a learning stage, I cannot say myself, I know completely. Whatever I understand, I learn.